Hey vlog, it is Sunday, February 5th. It was a beautiful sunny day. It was warm, except for the wind. If you could hide from the wind, you were doing great. But otherwise, it was a great day. But I spent most of it down in my office working. That is one of the downsides to being an entrepreneur, is you work a whole lot. Un but the upside is, you want to work a whole lot. Because you're doing what you love. It's not something that um, it feels like drudgery, like normal office work. You actually sit down and you want to do it. That is the beauty of being an entrepreneur and running your own business. You're working much harder than you ever did before, but the fruits of your labor are coming to you and you are enjoying it. Isn't that cool? Are you, are any of my viewers on this channel, are you guys entrepreneurs? And if so, what do you do? Leave it down in the comments. I would love to know what businesses you guys are all running. Because quite frankly, <laughs> businesses rule the world and they make life so much better. Also, are you utilizing YouTube for your business? YouTube can be one of the greatest, greatest lead generators you can ever find. Each video becoming its own little marching army of marketing people out there driving leads to your email list. How cool is that? You're getting uh, more work out of every video than you could ever do on your own or any other social media platform because they stay up forever. And if you're not doing YouTube, join my One Channel Away Challenge with the link down below. It's worth well over a hundred bucks. You get tons of free live time with me. I do the challenge live over in the Facebook group, which you will only get access to by signing up for the challenge. Then at the end of that challenge, I promise you'll have that first video up on your brand new channel on its way to a new growth and a new way stream of business, a new stream of income for you guaranteed. Plus, it'll be building that email list, which is oh so important in the internet world, is having that email list. It, it will save you every time. So, join me. That is one of the best ways that I have found. And guys, even when your channel is very new and hardly getting any views, which, let's face it, once you first get a channel going, it won't get very many views because... It's brand new. That's just the way it is. But even with a new channel like that, you'll start tr trickling in new l emails onto your list. It will happen because it's happened for me. It happened when I made my, you know, about the third or fourth video I had out, I got two or three uh, leads off of it and started getting leads there right after that. Now, those videos didn't have a whole lot of views back then. I mean, I remember uh, a couple months, you know, getting 100 views was huge. But hey, you don't need a lot of views as long as it's adding two or three um, names to your email list every time. Because that's warm leads for your business. Isn't that right, guys? If you're in business, you know exactly what the difference of traffic is. You have warm, hot, hot warm, and cold cold they have no idea anything about you and they don't know you from adam warm they now know about you a little bit and then so they're more interested in you hot means they know everything about you plus they know you can solve their problem that is the best traffic you can have unfortunately it's only about yay much it's the littlest amount of traffic that exists warm is all oh, about maybe like that and cold yeah Empire State Building high. I mean, it, almost all the traffic will be cold to you. So, YouTube is warming that traffic up for you. Isn't that neat? That is one of the coolest things you can find about YouTube, is you're getting a little bit warmer traffic. Way warmer than you're ever going to get off of ads on, like, Facebook or other social medias. Yeah, social media posts themselves might get a little bit warmer traffic than Stone Cold, but... It's still, it's not nearly as good as YouTube. YouTube, they're looking for something. They see you made a video. You solved their problem. And guess what? They said, okay, I'll take whatever it is because it solves my problem. And that is all we can ask for in business. 
What is business? It is simply solving problems. An entrepreneur is really a person who sees a problem in the world and he sees that he can come up with the solution for it. He makes his solution, presents it to the world, and they reward him with money. That's it. The more, the bigger the problem, the more money you're going to get for the solution. That's just simple. That's business broken down. Every major corporation is exactly the same thing. They see a problem and they solve it. General Motors, people need transportation. They make cars. Tesla, they saw that people want better transportation or they want electric vehicle transportation. They came in and they made it and look at the value of their company. It is unreal how valuable Tesla is. And all they do is build an electric car, really and truly. They call themselves a tech company, and they are. They're incredible tech in their cars, but they're solving the problem of transportation. It's that simple. You don't need to be the biggest genius out there. After all, Tesla, they were not the first electric car. They were way new into the market. However, they made a better electric car. That is the catch. See what the market has, see what's already around in the market, and then go with it. With what you can do that either A, makes it better, an improvement offer, e yes, you can make money with them, but it's going to be much harder. Or how can you take the existing market and make something a totally new opportunity that is going to be better than what the market has. All the other EVs, when Tesla came out, were basically a joke. Uh, remember the EV1 by GM? What a joke. <laughs> Does anybody even remember the Ford Ranger electric? Yeah, that was a machine that came and went without anybody even noticing it. Then we had the hybrid Prius came out. Really cool. They took an existing platform and changed it up by adding an electric motor and a battery pack. Was it the best thing in the world? No. But did it solve a problem of better fuel economy? Sure did. It got way better fuel economy than anything else at the time. So the Prius stepped in with a better design and made a market for itself. Now, that's not to say that the Prius is the best thing that ever was. Tesla, they looked at what was going on. They looked at the Prius. They looked at the Chevy Volt that came out. And they looked at the original electric cars and said, hey, uh, the problem is they don't have range. Let's solve that problem. So that became the main problem that Tesla worked on solving was range. And they did. They came up with a pretty long range for an electric vehicle which can be comparable, actually, to a lot of internal combustion engine vehicles these days. So, next, they solve the problem. I'm not saying Tesla is the total solution to our transportation problems, but they saw a problem and were able to solve the, a big, big problem. And look how handsomely re they've been rewarded. So, what problems are going on in the world that you can solve. Just look around at what 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 doesn't exist that is would make your life better. And do you think it would make other people's lives better? That's it. That's all you need to do. Look for a problem and see if you can make a solution to it. If you can, you're in business. So, how many entrepreneurs are out there and how many of you have found a problem to solve? That, guys, is the basis of business. It's that simple. Once you've got your problem, once you've got a solution, then you need leads and how to sell it and put it out to the marketplace. And that, my friends, is where YouTube comes in. Join my challenge and we'll market your product for you and get it out there and get the world to know exactly what your business does. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.